Hey there, BZ people, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Insurgents, episode 24 with me, Bork. If you've been enjoying this series, leave a like. If this is your first time seeing this video, or you've seen a lot of them, and you want to know about when more are coming out like it, please subscribe. We appreciate every subscriber. Um, and... If you missed last episode, we did finally make it into this town. I forget the name of the town. Uh, I could probably pull that up pretty quick. Um, and while we, or when we got here, we went and checked out the museum. Uh, we're in Marara Town, in case you were wondering. Um, we went and we checked out the museum and found uh, the blue orb. But it wasn't the blue orb, it was a fake blue orb, and the Abyssal Cult was there to get the Shoal Bell to awaken Lugia, because the World Islands have appeared just south of Marana Town. So, we need to go and stop the Abyssal Cult, and to do it, we have putting our Delta Snorlax with Leaf Blade, Body Slam, Yawn, and Rest. We have Moon Blossom, the newest member of our team. Doesn't like us enough to evolve yet, but we'll work on that. She's holding the Soothe Bell to help with that. With his arming voice, Fate, Tears, Draining Kiss, and Attract. We have Delta Scizor, the Cleaver, with Icicle Crash, Low Sweep, Psycho Cut, Night Slash, holding that wide lens to boost the Icicle Crash's accuracy. We have Ice Cream, the Azumarill, with Aqua Tail, Super Power, Roll Out, Play Rough, holding that Sea Incense. Crocodile, the Delta Muck, with Earthquake, Rock to Minimize and Return, holding that Rocky Helmet so that anyone touches him, they're going to regret it. And the final member of our team, we have Delta Charizard, Gulizard. Holding the Delta Charizardite with Shadow Ball, Confuse Ray, Dragon Pulse, and Incinerate. That's enough talking about the team. Let's get going down to the World Islands after talking with this girl. I run a small garden on the ocean. It's just a hobby, but I love doing it. The air seems great for the lungs as the plants are well hydrated. Well, that's useful. And we get an encounter. I guess this is it. And we get... Tentacruel. Doesn't look like we have one of you yet. So let's see if you can survive a leaf blade. You should be able to. So in between episodes, I did go back to uh, Helio City. Picked up some calciums to boost Moon Blossom's special attack. I could only afford five. So we're pretty much out of money for now. So we're going to go beat up some members of the Abyssal Cult to get some cash. Uh, we got Tentacruel. And even though, while holding the Sooth Bell, I gave her five calciums. Or him five calciums. Moon Blossom still is, does not love us. He likes us, but he doesn't love us. Jellyfish Pokemon. It lives in a complex rock formation in the ocean floor and traps prey using its 80 tentacles. Its red orbs glow when it grows excited or agitated. If... It lives on the ocean floor. Why is it always on top attacking us? Tentacruel's nickname. Better call you Jewels for the red jewels in your head. All right, and down we go. And do I want a Quagsire? I do. Let's catch a Quagsire. A Quagsire is pretty bulky. He should totally be able to take a Body Slam, right? And we got the Paralysis. It can't move. But it is raining. So, let's throw an Ultra Ball. Catch ourselves a Quagsire. So, BZ people. Question of the day for you is, there are a lot of held items in Pokemon. What is your favorite held item? And this can be for competitive or for in-game. Waterfish Pokemon. A Quagsire hunts by leaving its mouth wide open in water and waiting for its prey to blunder in. Because it doesn't move, it does not get very hungry. These things are really lazy. Only one nickname for Quagsires and for uh, Swampers as well, in case you're wondering. And that would be Tough Mudder. 
So, as far as hold items, was it? Hey, look, there's a TM. Found Thunder Wave. Okay, that's a really useful move. Let's go see what else we could find around here. Trees. Must have flooded, I guess. Um, I should see if anyone can learn Thunder Wave. I bet you Alakazam could have. Alakazam, you left us. It's more like I left you, but you know what I mean. Uh, so as far as hold items go, leftovers might be one of my favorites. Um, I'm always trying to find leftovers in the game, and let's see here. The choice items can be nice, but the, I don't like the way that they limit your Pokemon to what moves they can use. Um, Toxic Orb and Flame Orb in situations can be really good. But for the most part, you're just hurting your own Pokemon. I think Leftovers is the favorite item for me. That's the only one I can really think of at the moment that I'm all that crazy about. So here we go, into the World Islands. Now, I have been in the World Islands in this game before, and it's one heck of a maze. Uh, it took me a long time to get through it in my other game. Might just be because I got bored and felt like I was running in circles. Maybe I'll make it through faster. He sends out a Quillfish. Um, leaf Blade? Quillfish is fast? Well, I guess we are literally a tree. You know what other item is really great for a whole item? I'm so glad you missed that. Um... King's Rock. King's Rock is an awesome item. Uh, causing flinches if you can get those moves that can go off five times. You get yourself a Cloyster or a Cincino with Skill Link. And, uh... Do I have anything else that's good against water? Um... Yeah, you get yourself... Uh, a skill link cloister or a skill link Cincino and uh, yeah you can get some flinches going there that's really helpful pudding now is it time to wake up you have ice beam what oh yeah I guess supposed signal beam would be more effective uh, now I'm starting to regret not learning synthesis instead of rest but we got hyper potions we'll be fine and not enough for a level up. Let's see here. We need to get you a potion. Do I have any super potions left? Actually, first, can anyone learn Thunder Wave? Or Aerial Ace? Thunder Wave. Let's see here. Moon Blossom can. How about live wire? Nope, no one can learn live wire. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, we're looking for potions. You got fresh water. I think we'll just give Snorlax a fresh water for now, and he should be fine. Look, he's back in the green. Okay, and down and around. And our encounter for the World Islands is a Celio. I kind of want to add this guy to the team. Oh man, he's he's got he's got all swaggy. Um, let's start throwing balls, I guess. 
I keep forgetting I have a quick bar. You know, now you know what, I'll talk about that later. Um, we don't need quick balls. We have ultra balls, and Celio loves balancing ultra balls on his nose, and it forgets it's in a Pokeball while it balances it and it just stays in. The ball roll Pokemon. Celio live in herds on ice flows. Using its powerful flippers, it shatters ice. It dives into the sea to hunt prey five times a day. Wow. I thought Snorlax ate a lot. Uh, Celio, you become a Walrein? Your seal? I'm gonna call you Wally. I don't know if any of you ever watched Ultimate Muscle. It was on Fox Box when I was a kid. And there was a walrus wrestler named Wally Tusket. So I guess that's my thoughts for that nickname. And we got another battle against the Abyssal Cult. You know, it's kind of weird that the Abyssal Cult would be going after a Lugia when, you know, their symbol is Kyogre. But I guess legendary water Pokemon is a legendary water Pokemon. But Lugia's not even a water type. I, I don't know. Hopefully we could stop them, but... Pudding's trying to learn Crunch? Crunch. Body Slam is a chance to paralyze. Base 85 power. I guess. Let's go Crunch instead of Body Slam. I know, it hurts me too. But it's not Stab by the way. And having a Dark type move could be very useful. And if we come across any more Gengars. Oh, clearly that was the wrong cave. Hey look, music notes. Is this the cave that we went in before? I think so. Then again, maybe not. Oh, this is different. a timer ball over there. Well, our first encounter could have been a Tentacruel, which we already have. Oh, he's brining me. He's trying to brine me down. Can we one-shot now? S nope. Pudding still can't one-shot. Oh, so today, uh, the day I'm recording this, is a Friday, and oh, I'm so ready for the weekend. You probably heard me talking about it in the last video, but my little sister is graduating this weekend, so that's going to be it's going to be a good time. I'm thinking we're going down to see her graduation. Um, I'm really proud of my sister. She managed to get uh, really really good grades in school she's uh, really doing something that she enjoys and you know I I'm kind of envious of her for that just uh, the fact that she's getting to do what she really wants to do she's wanted to be a teacher since she was a little girl I remember that was what she would play she'd get all these old textbooks that the school doesn't want anymore and then she'd pretend that she was having a, you know, teaching a class. And, you know, teaching math and reading and stuff, and a strange set of tiles. Yeah, I'm not good at these puzzles. So, if I do come back, it'll be later. Because I'm not gonna spend an entire episode just failing for you guys. So, that's not the island we need to go to. So I guess let's keep going north. And let's see where this cave will take us. And I'm sure there's BZ people out there watching this who've already played the game and they could get me through these islands in like no time at all. Wow. That was uh... Is that a poison jab? It probably was. We could take another one of those. 
Yeah, it was a poison jab. I don't know why I thought it was Sucker Punch. Don't get poisoned. Good job, Snorlax. Okay, so, as with that, Snorlax has gone up to level 50. Grass Knot? I think we're good. Um, let's switch someone else out to the front. Um, Crocodile, you'd be a really bad choice. Gulazard, you lead the pack for a while. And Pudding, you've earned this. Drink a nice, tasty Hyper Potion that still won't get you up to full HP. That's kind of a good feeling. Let's see what we can find in this cave. Break it! Cleaver use low sweep. Wee-ya! It was in my way. It was looking at me funny. That's all I can say. Um, well, the good news is if he tries to explode, it should just take himself out. Bad news is we really don't have anything that'd be super effective against this guy. Thulas are transformed. Nocturne dark in the sky. Confuse Ray. Golem is confused. It hurt itself in confusion. That's good. I am liking this. Now, Shadow Ball. And we took out a golem. I mean, that's uh, it's pretty awesome, right? And a Celio. That's a little worse news for us if he's got the Ice-type move. I should probably invest in some repels. I mean, yeah, this is my training, and it prevents me from having to really grind in between episodes, but... I don't know if this is what the BZ people want to see. Um, leave that down below, guys. Do you? Does it annoy you when I'm keep uh, battling in or during episodes, like against wild Pokemon? Oh, we're the water type now. I really hope that you don't have uh, Thunderbolt. You. You confuse me. I really want to use Confuse Ray on you to make you as confusing it, confused as I am. And your cry is really annoying. Dragalge. You know what? We're a water type. We're not a dragon type anymore. So let's go ahead and Mega Evolve and Dragon Pulse and see what that Dragalge can do to me and you. Being us. Transformed, dark in the sky, Dragon Pulse. And down goes Dragalge. Not even scary. And our Delta Charizard is level 50. And she thinks we can beat her boss. I don't, I, I don't know, I mean... It's quite the vote of confidence, but... Um, the source. I don't know. I mean, she went from you can't touch us to oh, you can definitely beat us. Did I just go in a circle? I think I just went in a circle. Oh, maybe not. And it's another girl. Is it? No, it can't be all girls in the Abyssal Cult. Let's Mega Evolve and Shadow Ball. I'm gonna run out of PP before I get to the Abyssal Call later. I might have to go back to the Poke Center in between episodes to do a little bit of healing. Let's see who you have next for us. A Gorbis. You know what? Azumarill, you come out and play. So. You know, being a delivery driver for Pizza Hut has given me a lot of interesting stories. Um, like, for example, there was the time that Play Rough did nothing. I'm a superpower. I did a little more, but I think I just killed myself. Or maybe not. 
Let's see here. Let's go for another superpower. We still outspeed, which is good. And we took out the Gorbis, which is also good. And I said back off. Okay, backing off. Let's see, what's down here? Anything cool? We're not jumping over that. So, we might just possibly be in a tough spot here going up against the Epistle Cult leader with the team we have. I mean, to be honest, we have only four Pokemon we can use. One of them is super effective. One of them, I, I honestly don't know how well Delta Scythe or Scizor can take a hit. Uh, it seems like he goes down pretty easy. I should get him some proteins, boost up that attack a bit. And we got Azumaro, who, you know... Yeah, he's kind of speedy, but... Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I definitely should not be using as many shadow balls as I am. That's quite enough, Golem. And we're going to have to use a Hyper Potion on Charizard. I started to tell a story about my Pizza Hut days, and I'm sorry for interrupting that, BC people. Um, you know, you get all sorts of crazy calls working at Pizza Hut. Like one time, I had someone call in, and I don't remember. know if you guys remember... I'm not sure if they're still doing it or not, but they had their big box deal. Came with two medium rectangular pizzas and um, breadsticks and cine sticks. And I think that this guy had ordered the big box deal the night before, and we'd run out of marinara sauce, so we gave him two frostings. He calls us the next night and says, "Hey." you guys were out of marinara sauce could you bring me one tonight and I was like yeah we can do that and it would have been free because he didn't have it the night before so we we're going to just take it out to him so it would have been a delivery that I think I would have gotten a dollar for probably you know no tip most likely um, I'm not too worried about you but the uh, why wasn't that resisted? Doesn't ice resist water? Oh, we're water type now. I might have to get Delta Snorlax out here. Um, yeah. But the guy didn't just want one marinara. He wanted a second marinara. Now, the first one, that was free. The second one, that's going to cost you 50 cents. And actually, I wasn't even going to get the dollar, or I wasn't going to get the dollar before, but we wouldn't have had a delivery charge on there. So we added the delivery charge because we were actually delivering something that wasn't just a mistake. So it went from being free to being three bucks. And then I get there, and the guy gives me a $5 tip. So he paid $8 for something that costs 50 cents. Isn't that just crazy? It's, it's crazy, man. Why don't you take a nap, Luminion? Oh, that's going to do damage. Not a lot, but it did some damage. Um, Leaf Blade. We only have five Leaf Blades left. I think we're definitely going to have to... Uh, I don't know. I think in between episodes I need to go back to the Poke Center and restore some PP. Let's crunch again. <laughs> Sorry. I like mimicking things. Ugh. I mean, go right ahead, please. Well, thank you. 
So polite, these Abyssal Cult members. So this wasn't the cave. Where is slash was that cave? Oh, there's more over here. Um, okay, let's check this one. I don't know why, but I thought that was that last one was the cave. I yeah. We are just running out of PP. I am going to have to run back in between episodes. So let's see. More wild Pokemon. Um, yeah, so... I kind of miss being a delivery driver sometimes. Uh, I definitely miss the people that I got to work with. I got to work with a lot of great people. I was already in here. Was there another way that we could have gone? Ooh, a card bank. Well, you'd be super effective against me. I'm leaving. Um, definitely a lot of great people I work with at Pizza Hut. They were, they were fun to work with. Uh, they all, you know, knew what their job was and they did it well. So we're making progress again. The guy's got a Kingdra, which I got a, a Delta Charizard. Excuse me, while I Dragon Pulse you. So, I really hope you've been enjoying this series, BZ people. Um, I get the feeling it's going to be on the channel for a while yet, just because I have no idea how much more to this game there is. I mean, I know there's three more badges. Let's get one more fight in. You'll never get to Audrey, so don't even try. Oh, I am going to try. I am even going to try. A Lapras. Azumarill rollout. That's my thoughts. Or you know who else would have been good? Cleaver. Okay, that does way too much. Maybe I'll go for superpower instead. Cause you should be weak to fighting, right? Your ice type. You trying to freeze me? That's not cool. Fall prey to my superpower. That's not falling prey to my superpower. Let's do another superpower. Brine, that's not gonna do much at all. Did too much. Way too much. And down goes the Lapras. And down goes the stats. Gulazar grew to level 50. Barnacle. I'll stay in and I'll go for another superpower. Because that should take you out. Oh, you're faster than me. And you're setting up. That would be terrifying. That is terrifying. Um, Delta Snorlax. I'm pretty sure you can save us here. I don't know if anyone else could. I don't know about you guys, but I think that is a really ugly design on that Pokemon. Never been crazy about it. Maybe you guys completely disagree with me, and you know what? That is completely your right. You could think that this is the most awesome looking Pokemon ever. Doesn't mean we can't be friends. It really doesn't. That's, that's not what it means at all. 
putting gain experience, everyone gain experience, drat. So that is going to be the end of the episode, everyone. Thank you for coming and checking this out. Like I said before, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the series want to see more like it. We are Bork and Zim Gaming. Make some noise.